Okay guys, we're on a 2016 F-150 XLT with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost twin turbo engine. And we're just going to do a, uh, a walkthrough using the Launch X431 5 Plus, 5 Pro, 5 Elite. I've seen it advertised all, all three different ways. So we're going to take a look here. We'll get connected up to the vehicle. Zoom in just a little bit more. And okay, so we're just going to hit diagnose. And you, you can see right here it's already noticed or found that it's a 2016 Ford F 150. Got the VIN number, 2.7 liter uh, engine. Uh, switches on. Okay, so real quick, uh, uh, I've noticed this scan tool has this module programming. So before we get into special functions uh, of this scan tool, let's, let's click on module programming. And let's see, uh, so programmable module installation. So if you was getting ready to go through and uh, install a new module, we'll just do PCM. Let's click that and see what it has us do. I'm sure the module currently installed in the car is the old one that needs to be replaced. If it is not the module of the original car, turn off the ignition and install the module of the original car. After installation is complete, click OK. So we're going to click OK to that. Set the now this doesn't need a module programmed. It is the original module, but we're just going to get we're going to walk through this to see what it has us do. We're going to hit OK. Set the ignition switch off which I did not. Ensure the correct VIN is used for the vehicle. This is the VIN. We're going to hit yes. Now you would take the old module out. You would install the new module. Then you'd hit OK. Set the key to on. procedure succeeded so there you go this this launch scan tool would have allowed you to install a new module on this Ford F-150 so what else we got here we got pretty much every module on the car now whether or not this scan tool will do that I picked the PCM because that's a co very common module that you would possibly need to uh, replace but uh, anyway let's go back programmable perimeters okay so this is uh, this would allow you to so here's tire size and axle ratio let's see what's under that axle, axle ratio in the BCM set the ignition switch to on Okay, so these are the different axle ratios that you could have got on this truck. It's currently set to 355. I don't want to change it because that is correct, but I'm just going to go ahead and select 355 just to see uh, what happens. Okay, no perimeter setting has been changed. No update will be performed. So it looks like this scan tool would allow you to update the, uh, the axle ratio if you put different gearing in. Or let's say you had to replace your rear end, but... Uh, you put a rear end in that had 373s or 410s. You originally had 355, and your speedo's obviously going to be off, as well as your shift points for your transmission. You could go ahead and select the axle ratio that the new rear end has, so your speedo and your shift points would be correct. Uh, and the rest of this stuff is your typical, you know, exterior lighting. You know, for instance, like when you get out of the vehicle and close your doors, do you want your lights to stay on for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or whatever? So it looks like the scan tool's got quite a few options here on the uh, uh, on the Ford. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to select system. Uh, actually, what do I want to do? System selection. 
Uh, you know what? Let's just do a system scan. And what this does is it's going to scan all the modules and it's going to show us what's on the vehicle. Um, the system selection will list every module that could be on the vehicle. And if you select one that's not on the vehicle, then you got to wait on it. And eventually it'll come back and tell you that it can't communicate with it or whatever. This way, we know that when we click on one of these modules, it's going to be able to have some option there. Even if it doesn't have any kind of special functions or active test, it will have a uh, you know the codes or the module information or whatever. So this will probably be a better way to uh, do this walkthrough on this Ford F-150. Okay, so this is all the modules that it found. So we're just going to go down the list here. I'm going to select the ABS. And what we're going to concentrate on is the actuation test and special functions. Okay, all isolation valve output. That's under actuation test. Special functions. Okay, that's what we got there. Audio control. Scoot that over just a little bit. Okay, special functions. Oh, that might have been. I might. That might have been what we did. I do actuation to. Yeah, that did. Okay. Okay, no special functions or actuation tests there on the BCM. Should have quite a few things on this one. Usually, the body control module has a lot of different options. We'll do actuation test. And, you know, I've seen people say that uh, their scan tool uh, wasn't able to do certain things. Well, I'm going to honk the horn. Okay, I'm going to hit honk, and I think you heard that. We'll do it again. You don't necessarily have to hit off, but I like to hit it just to go through the full deal. Uh, I'm going to hit lock the doors. I don't know if you'll be able to uh, hear it. I've got the garage door shut. But we'll see how loud it is. Hopefully you heard that uh, click. We'll do all doors unlocked just to go through that procedure. Hopefully, hopefully you can hear that. Um, what else will you may be able to hear? Probably nothing else under BCM. We'll do special functions. Okay. That was BCM. DC to DC converter control. Not sure exactly what that is, but... Okay, program module installation. driver's front door module. My Autel did not have anything under this module. But the launch is showing that it's got a programmable module installation. I'm sorry, not my Autel. The Xtool did not have the programmable module installation. You'll probably have to step up to the Xtool D9 to get that function. 
Uh, Fickum. Okay, that was under actuation test, special functions, and again got programmable module installation, gateway module. Okay, all we got under that is special functions and it's programmable module installation. Fords are pretty good about allowing modules to be configured and then replaced. Uh, with with no actual programming, you're letting the scan tool. It's more of a configuration deal than it is a programming. Instrument cluster, actuation test, special functions. Occupant classification, resetting of the uh, seat sensor, parking brake, or parking aid. Okay, again, program of the module. Park brake, this does have electronic parking brake. Maintenance mode, rear brake pads replacement. So if you wanted to replace the rear brake pads on this vehicle, you have to have a scan tool to be able to retract the brake pads. And this scan tool lets you do that. Apply and release test. That's under special functions. Okay, PCM. Actuation test. And let's see, what can I do here? Fan control. Just to show you that this scan tool will actuate the fan. It's off. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. The garage door is shut again. Surely you hear that high speed. Okay, so that's everything under the uh, special or the actuation test. We'll go to special functions. Okay, and that was PCM passenger front door module programmable module installation. Power steering control. I don't know if this has electric power steering or not. Okay. Uh, transfer case. I think was the next one. Got actuation test. Okay. And trailer module. and special functions all right so that I think took care of the uh, walkthrough on this launch uh, X431 5 plus on a 2016 Ford F-150 you guys take care